Horns are strange things. Imagine having horns. What a life that would be. But while you might think you know what all horns are like, you may well be wrong, because some of them are truly peculiar. There are actually many different types of animal horns, and some will astound you. These are animal horns you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Texas Longhorn The Texas Longhorn is a pretty iconic animal in the Lone Star State, but one individual is now in the Guinness Book of World Records as being the longest horn of all longhorns. Poncho is a seven-year-old longhorn steer with a set of horns which measure an incredible 10 feet 7 inches. Poncho is in fact a native to Alabama, living on a ranch not far from the city of Birmingham. By age four, his owners noticed that this longhorn has record-breaking potential, as his horns were growing outwards rather than curving upwards, allowing for much greater reach. But in spite of his intimidating appearance, Poncho was known as a gentle giant, with his favorite foods being marshmallows and carrots. Texas Longhorns are known for being able to tolerate drought conditions very well and are considered a hardy species. They are also known for being intelligent and gentle-natured, and so are used for steer riding. They are descended from cattle brought over by the Spanish many centuries ago, and after a period of decline, are increasing in popularity once more. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Indian gar horns are unlike anything else you will have ever seen. Unless you've seen Indian gar horns before. Both the male and female of the species have upwardly curved horns that grow out from the side of the cattle's head. With a black tip and a yellow base, the horns almost look cartoon-like. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's move on to the next topic. Number 14. Nubian Ibex the horns of the Nubian ibex are truly amazing to behold, and these desert goats are famous for their huge backwards-growing horns. They live in mountainous and desert regions in North Africa, Northeast Africa, and the Middle East. They are rare animals categorized as vulnerable, with only 1,200 individuals left. They have a lot of predators to contend with in the region, and are hunted mainly by leopards, wolves, common foxes, eagles, and bearded vultures. And they are also kind of dangerous to one another since their horns are primarily used by the males for fighting, something which they do while balancing on extremely precarious mountainsides. One slip and it's a long way down. Back in 1959, the British established a reserve for these animals in hopes of protecting them, without which they may well have gone extinct by now. In spite of this, other regions have seen their populations decimated and even extirpated, thanks to modern and rifle hunting. Just remember that the horns of these animals always look best on the head of a living goat. Number 13. Markor the markhor is not as famous as its cousin from the previous topic, the ibex, but it has horns which are maybe even more impressive. This mysterious animal lives in Central Asia, the Karakoram, and the Himalayas. It is also the national animal of Pakistan, and that is where we get the word markhor from, which in Pashto and Hindustani means screwhorn. It's pretty easy to see why it got its name, since these animals have truly amazing corkscrew-like horns growing high on their heads. It is also a pretty big goat, being the tallest in the world. They are also known for their long chin hair and grayish-brown coats, making this a very impressive-looking animal overall. They do have some predators willing to risk tangling with those mighty horns, though, including snow leopards, Himalayan wolves, brown bears, golden eagles, and lynxes. In spite of living in some of the most treacherous and obscure mountain regions in the world, humans have found a way to hunt markhor to a vulnerable state, and conservation efforts are underway in some countries, such as Afghanistan and India, in hopes of saving the species. Number 12. Mouflon 
The mouflon is a wild sheep which lives in eastern Turkey, Iran, Azerbaijan, and Armenia. It is believed to be the sheep which was first domesticated in history, and so is the ancestor of all modern domestic sheep. They are recognizable by their short, reddish-brown coats and, of course, their amazing curved horns. This is one species where the females also sometimes have horns. It is believed there are only around 3,000 of these animals left in the world, and the mouflon was the first endangered species to ever be successfully cloned back in 2001. So there is some hope that once humans chill out a bit with their animal murder craze, we might be able to put them back where they belong safely. They are important animals in places like Cyprus and Corsica, where they have been known to feature on local currency and flags in the past. This is a stocky sheep with a woolly coat, and the male's horns can grow to 25 inches in length, and the males will use them to establish dominance, with the biggest horns gaining the most respect, as you might probably have imagined. Number 11. Giant Elant the giant eland is a pretty big animal, which is something you might have been able to guess from its name. In fact, this native of Central Africa is the largest antelope in the world, and it has some amazing horns to match. Not only are these horns big, they have a special feature, thread variation. This means that the swirls are tighter near the skull and become more smoothed out at the tips, which adds a little panache to this antelope. Otherwise, they are known for having a smooth reddish-brown coat, which has a to 12 characteristic white stripes along the torso. They are nocturnal, but social animals. The women and young elands live together while the males live together in a separate group, so they can talk about all the important stuff like sports, no doubt. They use their horns not only for defense, but also to dig up minerals from the soil to eat. They are fast movers and incredible jumpers, which is useful in an area which has more predators than I could even list here. You need to be quick and agile to survive out here, even if you are a massive antelope with huge horns. Number 10. Saiga The Saiga lives out on the dusty steppes, which stretch Kazakhstan, Russia, and Uzbekistan. It migrates across these areas, but once was spread across a far wider range and in much greater numbers. These days it is listed as critically endangered, so it seems likely we may not have this strange-looking antelope for much longer. One feature of the Saiga that is highly characteristic is its big head with large downward-facing nostrils. This arrangement evolved to help the Saiga breathe in the dusty climate it inhabits, and has a second function in winter where it warms up the air a little before it enters the lungs, which makes it less dangerous to breathe. It also has pretty cool horns on the males, which are waxy-colored and semi-translucent, with 12 to 20 rings on them. They are a favorite prey for wolves while juveniles can be eaten by foxes, steppe eagles, golden eagles, dogs, and ravens. Unfortunately, the saiga is one of the animals favored by Chinese medicine. The Chinese wiped out their own population, but now demand is high for saiga horns from abroad. The species recovered from near extinction in the 1920s due to hunting control during the USSR. But in the 1990s, Russia removed all controls, and the saiga almost went extinct. In the Putin era, conservation projects have begun in Russia, but unfortunately poaching in Kazakhstan as well as outbreaks of infectious disease means this animal is almost completely extinct once more. Number 9. Barrel. The barrel is also known as the Himalayan blue sheep, as this mountain-loving sheep has a noticeable blue tint in its wool. It lives around the famous mountain range, covering the region of India, Bhutan, Gansu, Inner Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, Ninja, Pakistan, Shizwan, and Tibet. This might sound like a pretty sweet place to live, but it's worth remembering that they have to share their home with snow leopards. And there is nothing snow leopards like to eat more than a blue sheep. The barrel has some very impressive horns on its head, but this is unlikely to be much use against an apex predator like the snow leopard. However, those horns are useful when it comes to rutting, which begins in November and runs through to January. And all the males will have to rut successfully if they are to be chosen by the female sheep for mating. 
which is a pretty good prize if you live up a mountain filled with snow leopards, carpe diem, and so on. Luckily, the Barl lives too far from regular humanity to be threatened by humans, and the only human contact they have is with Buddhist monks who actually protect and care for the wild barrels who live near them. So this is one horned species that will not be going extinct anytime soon. Number 8. Moose now we move on to one of the most iconic sets of horns in the world. The moose. The moose is known throughout North America as one of the most easily identifiable animals in the region. But some people forgot that moose also live in Russia, Scandinavia, and the Baltic states, where they are known as elk. Moose in North America are most common in Alaska, Canada, New York State, and New England with a lot more moose in Maine in particular. The horns of the moose are truly majestic, and the moose is the largest member of the deer family in the world. Unlike most deer species, moose are solitary, and therefore a kind of mysterious animal. The horns, or rather antlers, are known as palmate antlers, which means hand-shaped. Moose have been hunted by humans since prehistoric times, and even Julius Caesar wrote about the moose he encountered on his travels. Moose meat is considered a tasty and healthy alternative to beef. They are also prey to wolves and bears, but in spite of this, the global moose population is healthy. So those famous antlers will be around for a while yet at least. Number 7. Reindeer is there a deer species more iconic than the moose? You bet there is. It's Santa's personal transportation deer, the reindeer. And there's more to these deer than that one guy with the red nose. For a start, there's the antlers, which are the largest and heaviest antlers of any deer relative to body size. The male's antlers reach over 50 inches in height, and the females can grow to 20 inches. What is the difference between antlers and horns? I can hear you screaming. Well, the difference is that antlers fall off every year and grow back bigger, while horns are a permanent feature. In spite of what you may have seen on Christmas cards, reindeer actually drop their antlers right before Christmas, and they don't start growing back again until February. So if you ever see a reindeer with antlers at Christmas, you can call it out as a fake, and wait and see everyone's faces when two dudes step out of the reindeer costume and admit they were indeed pretending to be a reindeer this whole time. Reindeer live all across Northern Europe, North America, and Siberia, and are the only deer species to be commonly domesticated. However, they are vulnerable in the wild, so it looks like they will need some of that Santa magic to avoid extinction in the future. Number 6. Addicts the Attix is also known as a screw horn antelope and the white antelope, which is easy to see why as they have screw horns and are, um, white. They've been in the news lately because there are very few left in the wild. In fact, there are only three left, which is definitely a serious problem for this antelope. They not only have amazing spiraling horns, but specially adapted feet which keep them afloat on the sands where they inhabit, which is now a tiny part of one nature reserve in Niger. Normally, they are social creatures who prefer to live in large nomadic herds, and they once ranged widely across Central and North Africa. The government of Niger has made hunting the Attics illegal, but at the same time, the Chinese State National Petroleum Corporation has brought up huge amounts of Niger and begun installing oil well plants right in the middle of their habitat. On top of this, the Chinese army, which protect the oil plants, do not have to abide by the laws of Niger so they have been poaching the last remaining addicts for sport. As long as China is drilling for oil all over Africa, the future doesn't look too bright for the addicts. Number 5. Cape Buffalo the Cape Buffalo is one of Africa's most notorious animals. These massive beasts are known by hunters as the Black Death due to their unwillingness to just lie down and be shot dead, but instead to actually sneak up on the hunters and charge at them. And while the Cape Buffalo's horns might look like some kind of old-timey Wild West haircut, having those things hit you at full speed with 2,000 pounds of weight behind it is gonna hurt. These buffalo are known for their nerve, and will even stare down an elephant or fight off a lion. 
They are great swimmers and are known for having amazing memories as well as being vengeful. They will attack someone or something many years later after that person or animal did them wrong. They are also known for having tiny best buddies who sit on their backs, birds called oxpeckers. They dig ticks and parasites out of the buffalo's skin, and the birds get a free meal a free ride, and some serious protection. Buffalo always protect their young and will form a circle around them, lowering those massive horns, challenging any predator to just try it and see what happens when you mess with the Black Death. Number 4. Scimitar Horned Oryx Also a relative of the Cape Buffalo is the Scimitar Horned Oryx. This animal lives in North Africa and is way, way smaller than the Cape Buffalo. But that doesn't mean its horns are less than impressive. On the contrary, this oryx has some of the most impressive horns in the world. In fact, they are a little too impressive, as they have been hunted to near extinction by people who want to collect these horns for themselves. Why can't people just grow their own horns out of their heads? It's not difficult. Jeez. Anyway, they once were widespread across the region and always noticeable for the horns which resemble a scimitar sword and can grow to four feet in length. The last one was spotted back in the 1980s, but in recent years an attempt to reintroduce them to North Central Africa has commenced, with stock bred in captivity. Another fascinating fact about this oryx is that they may be the original unicorns. The ancient Egyptians used to bind the horns of this animal together while they were young, so they would fuse into a single horn in adulthood, which may have inspired the myths about the unicorn which became popular all over the Middle East, Europe, and India. Number 3. Rhino how could we forget the rhinoceros? Speaking of unicorns, the rhino really is one, with the javan and greater one-horned rhino species having exactly that. All other species of rhino have two horns, however. Rhino horn grows continuously throughout their lifetime and is made of keratin, the same as human hair and nails. The white rhino in particular has a very fast-growing horn, which can grow three inches a year, with the longest ever recorded, measuring a huge 60 inches. Rhinos have very bad eyesight, and they work almost entirely by smell, with their eyes capable of some basic motion detection. And bulls tend to be more solitary and are extremely powerful animals, definitely not one you want to upset. The females live in groups, and there are sometimes also males in the groups, and a group of rhinos is known as a crash, which is pretty cool and kinda descriptive. The most famous rhinos are the black and white rhinos, although both are actually grey. English explorers misunderstand understood the Afrikaans word for wide, thinking it meant white. But the name stuck and they called the other rhino they found black so they could tell which was which. Unfortunately, rhino horns are in much demand by the Chinese, and three species, the Sumatran, Javan, and Black, are practically extinct in the wild. Number 2. Ankle Wachusi the Ankle Wachusi is an American domestic breed of cattle, which is famous for its massive horns. They are descended from the Ankle cattle of Central Africa, which were brought to Germany back in the early 20th century as display animals for zoos, and Germans were fascinated by the mighty horns of this animal. Soon other European countries wanted Ankle for their zoos, and eventually they made their way over to the United States. They were crossbred with another species, and the Ankle Watusi herd was born. Now there are around 1,500 of them in the US, and they are also recognized for the amazing red and white coloring of their coats. The horns have the widest circumference of any cattle breed in the world, and the Guinness Book of World Records has recorded a bull named C.T. Woody as the world record holder for horn circumference, his horns measuring a massive 40 inches around. They are a feature at California's Living Desert Zoo and Gardens, which is out near Palm Springs and is dedicated to maintaining desert species from all over the world. Number 1. Black Buck 
This is a cool looking animal with a cool sounding name to go along with it. The black buck is an antelope native to India and Nepal. It lives in grassy plains and light forest, and the males have a very striking color pattern with two-tone brown and white coats. On top of that, there is a pair of magnificent spiral horns to complete the look, which is like some fantasy animal from an Indian version of the Witcher or something. They are extinct in Pakistan and Bangladesh, but have been thriving in India and are considered of least concern. The black buck has also been introduced into Argentina and the US, which was an attempt to safeguard the population, which declined sharply in the 20th century leading to those extinctions. However, Hindus considered the animal sacred, so it has always been safe in India and Nepal. In fact, many tribal villages in Hindu regions try not to harm any animals, and respect for nature is a major part of these cultures, only taking what is necessary for food. The black buck is an animal which draws the chariot of Lord Krishna, which means it is especially important to followers of Krishna. Recently, in a high-profile case, famous Bollywood actor Salman Khan was sentenced to five years prison for poaching a black buck, the kind of justice more animal species need. Which of these animal horns would you most like to wear on your head? Do you think that it should be illegal to hunt animals for their horns? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.